Welcome back to Quantum Yogi Wisdom. Mercury is going retrograde in Sagittarius from the 13th of December until the 1st of January. There's absolutely nothing to worry if you follow this one important thing that I am sharing in this video, which will make the cosmic energies work in your favor. This will help you to raise your vibration and enter 2024 like a master manifester. But before we get started, if you enjoy content on spirituality, manifestation and cosmic events, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. During this period of Mercury retrograde, you might notice an increase in intuitive insights and extraordinary coincidences happening. While Mercury retrograde has become known as a dreaded messenger of mix-ups, miscommunication and madness, but if we align ourselves with the energy of the universe instead of fighting it, life will always be in a harmonious flow. Imagine standing in front of a big ocean wave. If you try to push against it, it will push you back and make you fall. Instead, if you go along with the wave, it will carry you gently. Similarly, if you get scared in the pool, you might sink. But if you stay relaxed, you'll float just fine, isn't it? Now pay very close attention. Mercury retrograde is a phenomenon that occurs when the planet Mercury appears to be moving in reverse or backward motion in its orbit around the Sun. When Mercury goes retrograde, there can be disruptions, challenges or miscommunications in certain areas of life. The planet Mercury rules our communication. It rules the part of us which absorbs information in an instant and transmits that information to others. When it retrogates, the flow of energy is reversed. This optical illusion is just like when you watch the wheels of a car or even a wagon in motion. Sometimes they can appear to be moving backward, even when the car is moving forward. Mercury retrograde usually happens three to four times a year. Mercury has a much shorter orbit than Earth, so three or four times a year, when the planet speeds past us, leaves behind a strong wind that shakes up our lives if you're in a low vibrational state. There's a principle in the ancient Hermetic teachings known as the Principle of Correspondence. It teaches us the interconnectedness of all things in the universe. There's a phrase often used in this teaching, as above, so below. It means that the patterns and relationships that occur in one level of existence can be mirrored or reflected in other levels. The laws that govern the universe and celestial bodies also apply to human beings, plants, animals, and even the tiniest particles at the subatomic level. Since Mercury is governing communication, and when it appears to be spinning backward, people from your past might try to communicate with you. You have to keep in mind that energy loves attention. The moment you give attention to these people, your energy goes there. If the energy goes there based on your past experience, you will go into a low vibrational state. You really don't want to go back to what you were, especially when you're conscious and manifesting a good life. We often pay more attention to the bad things that can happen, like when Mercury is in retrograde or when we hear bad news on social media or TV. This means we're thinking a lot about these negative things. And guess what? The energy we have goes to whatever we're thinking. So if we're feeling down a lot, we'll get more of those kinds of things. But if we try to stay positive and happy, we'll get more good things coming our way. Having a low or high vibration can attract similar stuff to us. You really don't want to be in a lower vibrational state, especially during Mercury retrograde. But there's one practice that can put you instantly in a high vibrational state. No matter how low you're feeling or how hurt you are, if you do this one thing you will get uplifted instantly. In the ancient Indian scripture, the Bhagavad Gita teaches us about the strength of gratitude. Chapter 11 verse 14 suggests that when you truly grasp the essence of gratitude and let it become a profound part of you, you'll naturally develop a sense of appreciation for everything around you. As your gratitude grows, your tendency to complain diminishes. When complaining fades away, so does misery. In simpler terms, embracing gratitude helps to replace complaints with contentment leading to a more joyful and fulfilling life. In the Bible, the Gospel of St. Matthew reveals a puzzling statement. Those who already have will receive more, and they will have plenty. But those who don't have, even what they have will be taken away from them. At first glance, this might seem unfair, implying the rich get richer while the poor get poorer. However, there's a mystery to unravel in this passage. The key to understanding lies in a hidden word, gratitude. When you delve into the meaning, you discover that gratitude is the secret solution to this age-old puzzle. 
The idea is that those who appreciate what they have, no matter how much or little, will find abundance in their lives. On the other hand, those who lack gratitude may lose even the little they possess. In essence, this passage urges us to recognize the power of gratitude as a transformative force, revealing a deeper understanding of wealth and abundance. It's as simple as this. If you have gratitude, you'll receive more and have an abundance. But if you lack gratitude, even what you already have will be taken away. So what is the best way to practice gratitude? Pay very close attention to this. Mercury retrograde goes on for 24 days, so it's very important for you to keep yourself in a high vibrational state. This is when the universe is testing you before giving you your manifestation. The universe always gives you some tests before giving something to you to test the strength of your mind, body, and soul. It's your biggest examination, especially during Mercury retrograde. This test is to see how one you are with the universe. This test is to see how aligned you are with the universe. The only way you can pass this test is by keeping yourself in a high vibrational state. Gratitude is the fastest way to raise your vibration. Gratitude will magnetize and maximize your power of manifestation. This is your test period. Remember, every test comes with a result. It could go bad or go very good. It all depends on your performance. If you show gratitude, strength and positivity during this time, the result will be massive. God or the universe will be observing as judges noting down all your efforts. If you remain in a high vibrational state throughout, you are going to get high grades which will change your life. So during the period of Mercury retrograde, every day before going to sleep and once after you wake up, write down 10 things you're grateful for without miss. You have to feel it as you write. And whenever you find a moment in your day, take the opportunity to revisit your written expressions of gratitude and truly immerse yourself in that feeling. If you focus on things to be grateful for, you'll attract more of those positive things into your life. It works just like how metal is pulled toward a magnet. Gratitude is magnetic. Writing down gratitude affirmations immersed in feeling will help you to rewire your subconscious mind as well. Every day before we go to sleep, and every morning we wake up, our brain naturally goes through the states of theta. It is the first seven years of the brain state of human life. This is when our subconscious mind is recording. When Mercury is in retrograde, try to keep your mood positive and make the energies work in your favor. Stay away from things that make you feel upset. Avoid spending too much time scrolling through social media, watching the news, or listening to sad songs that make you sad. During this time, it's very easy for certain things to trigger you. If you ever start feeling low, remember it's a test from the universe. Become conscious and get into a high vibrational state by writing down the things you're grateful for. This is a life-changing practice. Remember that the universe supports us when we gain control of our minds and synchronize with universal energies by elevating our vibrations. Share in the comments the things you're thankful for. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, please give a thumbs up and let me know in the comments. I'll see you in the next video.